Okay, so today we'll cover a bit of balance work. So balance is really important for injury prevention. As you get older, it's, if you've got poor balance, you're at risk of falling and hurting things. But when you've been injured or when you've been in pain for a long time, particularly back pain, you tend to have pretty poor balance, pretty poor control. And it's also a risk factor for back pain to have that poor sort of postural control. So you have different kinds of muscles. You have little ones, you have big ones. The big ones make stuff go. The little ones hold stuff in place. And a common thing with people who've got back pain is these little ones, and a lot of pain to me, it's a lot of injuries. It's these little ones, have, they just can't do the job. And whether that's they're inhibited by something that's overpowering them, maybe they're chronically lengthened, maybe they're restricted, maybe they're just weak. There's any number of things that can contribute to this. But what we want to do is we want to start to, to work them. And as with most things, a lot of people start quite advanced. You know, they start using BOSU balls, they start using rollers. There's loads of fun things. I love balance stuff. It's just, like, it's fun. But you've got to stay at the bottom. And the simplest way you can do it is just standing. Just go onto one leg. Stand on one leg. And just hold it, yeah? Just concentrate on holding it. Just let your foot move around. Best to do it with no shoes on. These, like, minimalist ones. And then, if you really want to push it, start to shake around a little bit there. Close your eyes. You'll find that makes it a hell of a lot more difficult. You know, my foot, there we go. Lost it a bit there. And that's what happens. And it's a, just a, such a simple way. Uh, I actually got shown that originally by a squat coach. A uh, big guy, squatted like 400 odd kilos. When he tensed his abs, it was like fists. That's what they felt like. Really strong guy. And it was him who told me about it. He said, you know, Oh, because I had a bit of an imbalance on one side, and he's like, oh, what I do is I do this. And he got it from a chiropractor. Cool guy, uh, Erta. Uh, yeah, and it's just I say, it's just dead simple. Just stand on one leg. That's it. There you go, balance training. That's all it has to be. It doesn't have to be that complicated. You can do it in the kitchen. You can do it while you're having your coffee. You can do a bit of release and do a bit of this. These things don't have to be so massive. You can inject this in, in between sets. You know, maybe you're struggling with a bit of back pain. Just do this in between sets. Close your eyes and you'll be surprised. Like, there. Just because I closed my eyes. You know, I've just been rolling around on a blue roller. <laughs> you know what I mean? And even I find that difficult. It's so simple. Now, you can advance it a bit. Once you get maybe on one leg, you can bend it. You know, you can hold it there. Get a bit lower. Maybe put your foot back. Put your knee up. You know, there's all these different ways of doing it. You have to challenge that single leg stability. But just start. You know, here, you've got these activations going, you've done a little bit of mobility. Let's get some stability as well. Hope it helps.